In this video, we are discussing competitor to short lists. We know that competitor is one interface and this interface is having mainly two methods are there. One is the equals and another one is the compare. So compare and equals two methods are there. So to use this competitor, obviously I must be defining one class which will implement this competitor interface and then we can define those methods and we can use them. So let us go for further discussion on this. So what is competitor? So the competitor is an interface and that is used to compare two objects of a class. And in this interface, there are two methods are there. One is the compare and another one is the equals. So we need to create a class that can implement this competitor interface. Then only we can have this methods getting called and getting executed. In the collection classes like our array list or say in case of link list, there is a method known as the short method. So there is a short method is there in it is available in case of both array list and in case of link list. Using this we can short lists. So this short method needs this comparator to compare objects for the shorting operation. So now let us go for one practical demonstration for your better understanding and there we will be discussing all this concept using one Java sample code. So here is the demonstration for you. We are defining one class that is a string compared which implements the interface comparator. This comparator in interface is defined under the package java.util and this particular comparator interface is, is having only one unimplemented method that is a compare. So this is a compare is the one unimplemented method in this interface that is a comparator. And in this particular compare, we are having two input arguments that is the uh, T01 and T02. That is a type object 1 and type object 2. Let us go for detailed description here. You can find that compares it compares it two arguments for the order return a negative integer 0 or a positive integer as the first argument is less than equal to or greater than the second argument and that is the purpose of this compare. So compare is a method which we have implemented here which returns uh, return str1 dot compare to str2. Here we have passed this string str1 and str2 as two objects to this compare method. So string compare is nothing but our user defined class which is implementing the interface comparator which is defined under the package java.util. So here we are having another class that is our compar comparator demo. Under the main function we have defined one add a list object that is a city list and we have added multiple string objects to this city list array object and we have printed the current content of the city list. So let us go for the execution you can find that we have printed all the current content of the city list and when the cities are unshorted so Delhi, Kolkata, Hyderabad, Chennai and Lucknow they have got printed. Now short the array list in the alphabetical order using the method short and as an input argument we are passing the string comparator class object which has already implemented the comparator interface and also implemented the method that is a compare. So city list dot short new string compare. So here we are calling the, the string compare class constructor that means with the new we are actually passing the string compare, compare class object as input argument to this short method. So now if we go on printing this array list content we are getting that this array list content have got shorted in the alphabetical order. So now the order has become Chennai, Delhi, Hyderabad, Kolkata and Lucknow and you can find that they have got shorted in the alphabetical order in the ascending order. In this way, in this particular demonstration, we have shown you that how to use the comparator interface in our Java code. Thanks for watching this video.